So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make millions of coins easily in FIFA Mobile 22. So make sure to like and subscribe if you are excited for it. So obviously, we are getting the new World Cup mode event in FIFA Mobile 22. And that means that Group Stage Challengers event, the GSC event, is going away. And we had... A, a, this was a very very good event indeed like we had a lot of good players for example 104 overall one the star was free i know i didn't get him i'm not gonna be able to get him but he was still free and most free to play players got him there were all, also a lot of 103 overall ucl cards 101 overall cards as well ul cards that you could have got for free so it was a quite good event and now i'm going to show you how you can make coins then first of all in the star pass as you can see in the last section we have got 105 overall Haji right there. This 105 overall Haji is a pretty decent investment because I think he's gonna go up in price. Right now, don't buy the, these cards right now. Buy them in a couple of days, whenever they are gonna be at their lowest. But uh, in a couple of days, you can go ahead and buy this Haji card and I think he's gonna go up as I said. So let's go, oh, he's right here. 20 million coins. Right now, people are trying to buy him still, but in a couple of days, I think his price is going to be about like 16, 17 mil, maybe in your market, even lower or a little bit higher. But I think after the, after the group stage and just event, this card is going to start rising, rising. And not only this card, of course, but also most of the uh most of the group say challenges card so if you're gonna go ahead and look at that one of our overall ronaldo he has already risen a lot um and i think i don't i would not suggest you to invest in this card because he's gonna he might go up he might go down we don't know it quite yet royce royce is a decent investment not the best though i wouldn't invest in him either mostly like 103 and 103 and 104 overall cards this 105s are obviously store packs there is 104 overall Tonali, 104 Gomez, 104 Koke, and 104 overall Hakimi as well. This might be all right investment, but I wouldn't still make. I wouldn't still make that. I would still. I would still not do that. But for example, 103 overall Messi. I think this card is gonna be a very very nice investment because I think it's gonna go up a lot. Uh, the more popular player is, obviously, the more popular the card is going to be and more people are going to want to get that. So, not right now, but in a couple of days, I think you should get Messi and put him in your team. It might take a couple of weeks until uh, he goes up in price, but I think he definitely will. 103 overall Quadrado might be a decent one as well. Uh, he's about 12 million coins right now. He's got a right mid card instead of right back. So, that might be a little bit of a shame, but I think he's still going to go up. Ziyech. Zeke is a decent one as well. All these 103 overall UCL cards are, are I think, uh, decent. But I think Messi is definitely the best one because he's Messi, right? One of the best or the best player of all time. And uh, he's got a lot of fans, which means uh, he's going to be in demand. Um, we've got 104 overall Alaba as well. Don't buy him right now, but I think he might still go up in price in the future. I think all these 103 overall um, UCL cards are good investments as I said. Go 103 overall Sunny as well. This Sunny card is great. Make sure to invest in this card as well if you want to make some coins. Carrasco, the same thing. Carrasco might even be a little bit better because he's got a better card and he's a little bit cheaper than Sunny. But Sunny is more popular, I guess. Arthur is a decent one as well. All these 103 overall cards. 102 overall cards are not bad investments either. Pedro Goncalves is not gonna go up. Bailey, Bailey might go up. Bailey is a type of card that more a lot of people might want to get he's got good uh, good stats he's got good height and medium high work rates so i think Bailey is gonna be decent delaney delaney is gonna be an all right investment as well this 102 overalls they're definitely a risk i think 103 overall ucl cards are better investments bam you can go ahead and invest in those 103 overall players as well uh, the 103 overall ul ul players i wouldn't in, in, really invest in them i don't think they are the best investments but uh if uh for example guri is 11 mil i think he might go up but i'm not 100 percent sure so i wouldn't really say it martial martial might also be a great investment you know martial might be a great investment because he's a popular player um he's got great stats as well great card on him six foot high low work rate i think he's gonna go up as well in mancini mancini is quite cheap he's not doesn't really have the best card but he still has a chance to go up he still has a chance to go up and all these 103 overall cards as well. Becker, I wouldn't really invest in Becker. Even though he's only 10 mil or 9.5 mil, he might go up, but I don't have high hopes for that. But 101 overall players are, I think, pretty decent investments as well. For example, 101 overall Saka. I think you should invest in this card. He's a popular player. He's got great stats. Arsenal player, which means I think he's going to be a good investment. As well as Tyrone, Tyrell Malasia, sorry. 
it's got a decent card there are not a lot of great lot backs in the game right now they are this cheap for this overall so i think malastia might also be a good investment other than that like 100 overall uh and low lower overall players i don't think they're gonna be the best investments i think alvarez is gonna be decent though alvarez has got a great card and he plays for man city so he's gonna be pretty popular player as well um there is also one of 100 overall or siege this card is insane 120 pace under team shooting 118 dribbling you can go ahead and use him in your team or uh, as a sub and until he goes up in price you can go ahead and use him as that as i said so i would invest in orsic as well the orsic card is definitely great um, and yeah as i said other than that wouldn't invest in most of these cards under um 10 mil uh, under 100 overall because most of them are gonna keep their price mudrick might be an all right one for 98 overall but yeah wouldn't invest in most of them as i said bam we are obviously getting a world cup event let me know if you're excited for it let me know if you're gonna invest in any of these cards or if you already invested in uh, some of some of your coins in some of these cards we'll get uh, the group stage challenges event is ending as well as i said i'm not really doing anything in this event anymore because i know i'm not gonna get 104 overall wonder star and i don't really care about anything else um i missed a lot of days i didn't have too much time so i wasn't able to get him didn't finish this any of these either ucl ul and ucl this week last week or the week before i think as well so it's a little bit of a shame but we can't do much about that we cannot really do much about that now i'm gonna end this video by opening a couple of packs because i think in the group stage channel just even i can open a couple of uh ul packs it's not ucl pack sorry it's not that great but it's better than nothing i guess so let's go ahead and do that uh, first of all, I need to claim some of these rewards, 100,000 coins, 100 skill boosts. I'm, I need to spend this as well. I need to spend these uh, group stage challenges points. We got an elite player there. We got a walkout. Okay. What was it going to be? It's a good animation uh, for the base player. Uh, is it Coleman? It is Coleman. Okay. We got 85 overall Coleman and 84 overall uh, Rodrigo De Paul as well. Okay. We got 200,000 coins there as well. 200 GSC tokens. Okay. We'll take GSC tokens. We'll definitely take that uh, 3000 skill boss here and now we can open six no three from here we can open three of these ucl packs we go walk out in the first one you're gonna get a walk out in a, every single one of that let's be honest go irish lat mid from shamrock rovers 90 overall lions or lions yeah I'll, I'll take 90 plus overall cards obviously these are not the best ones but i'll still take that i'll still take them you got a Swedish card, it's not going to be a Brian Mowich, probably. Right wing, and it's a Soro. And the last one right here, let's see what we're going to get from the last one. Norwegian, it's not going to be Haaland, it's a goalkeeper from... Is that Malmo? I don't know, Karl, Karlström. Is, was that Ma No, that was Molde, okay. I'm sorry about that, Molde. Yeah, not the best ones, right? Not the best ones, but we can't do much about that. Anyways, this is gonna be the end of the video, guys, for today. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and peace.